Okay, and we have a fight. I don't know if Javante Tank Davis lost the amount of weight, but he can still fight. He just won't fight for the belt. Uh, hopefully he does make that weight. It shows that it's a bad sign moving up and you're missing weight. It reminds me of Brandon Rios. It's either he's too big or he just is not disciplined enough to make the weight. You know, a pound and a half, you know, you got an hour to run off. I mean, that's a lot of running. So I hope he puts on his sneakers. Now, Yoriokas Gamboa, of course, is, you know, the professional he is. He is familiar with the weight, so he knows how to make weight. And um, so kudos to him. So if he beats Javante Tank Davis, that's if Javante Tank Davis makes that weight. Or should I say loses that weight. You know, he will become the champion. And if he doesn't, and if, if he loses that, if he doesn't lose it, he can't fight for the belt. He can't win it. Okay? Those are the rules. Now, the face-off. I'm looking at the face-off. And you got Yoriokas Gamboa. He's just chilling. You know, just looking stone face with the million yard stare, right? Or thousand yard stare, stare should I say? And out of nowhere, Javante Tank Davis just shoves him. Like, I don't know. I guess he's trying to, I don't know, hype the fight up. I don't know because Yoriokas Gamboa didn't say anything to him. I can understand if he said something slick in Spanish or something like that. Maybe Javante Tank Davis didn't know uh, Espanol, right? And he shoves him because he felt disrespected because he doesn't understand what he's saying. You know how that goes. You know, you better stop talking that stuff around me. <laughs> you know, some people, you know, but that wasn't even the case. So I don't know why he shoved him, maybe to get up under his skin, um, hype the fight, show him he's a bad boy, show him he's, in, you know, in control, I remember Jarrell Big Baby Miller did that to Anthony Joshua, you know, to, you know, gain dominance of the two. So maybe that was the reason why Javante Tate Davis did what he did. But back to his weight, you know, I think Davis, he's powerful at that weight class. And I think uh, Leonard Ellaby and Floyd Mayweather Jr., they know that. And because they know that, they know he's knocking people out. Um, I have Jav Javante Tank Davis winning because, uh, what is that, a 12-year age difference? Yoriokas you know, is uh, 37. And, you know, Davis is, what, 25? Right? Let me check out Davis real quick. I could be wrong. But I think he is 25 years old. Let me see. Okay. Um, yeah, 25 years old. So he has a lot of growing to, you know, to do. And missing weight, being that young, is not a good sign all around. It's not a good sign. You just made it to a weight. You had to make weight in a lower weight class. And then you get to this weight class and you can't make weight. You know, well, maybe it's one of those things to give uh, Davis the benefit of the doubt. Maybe, you know, he had to eat different and he thought that he could be a little bit more lenient on certain things because he's moving up in weight. And boy, was he wrong, right? If that's the case, you know, um, 
what do I think about this fight? I think that Yoriokas Gamboa four years ago, that would have been a good fight. You know, now it's a shoe in for Javante Tank Davis. The youth, the power, you know, the reflexes. Yoriokas Gamboa, you know, has been knocked out a couple times and been dropped some, you know, in other fights. So people look at his chin rather suspect. So, you know, I hope they're paying the brother some money, Yoriokas. I wish him the best of luck. He was one of the best prodigies that came out of Cuba at the time. And he's about at the end of his rope. Okay. So I think this will be the last fight for Yoriokas, like a big fight. You know, and then he's just really the pawn for Javante Tank Davis because they're trying to boost his rope profile. So what they normally do over there, they get guys that either pass their prime or, you know, you never heard of, and then boom, knocks them out, you know? And that's what I see with this fight. However, you know, I expect, I hope the best for it. You know, I'll cover it um, tomorrow. And because uh, I have a flight, and when I uh, when I land, I'll I'll, I'll counter punch it when I get to the hotel. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Javante Tank Davis shoving Yoriokas Gamboa. Javante Tank Davis not making weight. You guys tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counter punching. Peace.